Hello internet friends, welcome to my channel. Today is another day of attempting cinematic vlogging. And the original idea was to go around and capture some images that would symbolically represent inner turmoil. It's just not a great day for it. The sun is gorgeous out, the water is clear as glass, and I'm not too keen on trying to show myself looking at myself in a mirror with reflections. I'm not good at acting basically. And I don't wanna capture other people, so I'm kind of out of ideas on what to do with that. So we'll skip symbolism for now, and we'll move on to something else that I like to do when I'm not feeling in the best spirits, and that is to go shopping. A little retail therapy. It'll be a good chance to film in public and to get better at capturing more normal daily activities in a cinematic way. So I did bring this guy. It has a little clampy thing, and then you screw your camera up here at the top. And I did have to make adjustments using um, male to female camera mount attachments. You can usually get about six of them for $9 on Amazon. You just have to know what you need. All right, so we are in a new location. I turned off my camera because there was a truck going by and when I turned it back on, I must have switched it to slow-mo. So the last finishing thoughts before we arrived at our location are unusable. So let's do that again. And you know, I'm not too mad about it because it kind of fits on theme for today's lesson, which is passion. If I'm truly passionate about it, no matter how I'm feeling inside, any turmoil I'm having about regret or self-confidence or the whole meaning of our existence. If I still care enough about this project, about what I'm doing, I'll find a way to continue to create. I do believe that passion is not painless and if you truly are dedicated to something, you will find a way to continue through the struggle and even maybe adapt it into your art. I did want to do that today. Maybe not today, because the weather isn't really working with me on it, but it is something that I can keep in mind for the future, because cinematic vlogging is also about planning. All right, so I can't recall how far we got into talking about this guy. Grab the clamp. I should be able to stick my camera up here and clamp this onto one of the bars. I did notice last time that there was no good spots for me to sit my camera. Hopefully this guy will help. How inconspicuous that will be, who's to say? But that's all right, because I need to practice filming in public. So the last time that I went shopping and tried to catch B-roll, I caught some imagery of me walking from the bus stop, but I used the same angle twice, just closer up. We're gonna do it a little differently this time because I've been studying and practicing. We'll get me one walking from the bus stop far away, me coming up closer from a different angle, and then me coming into the thrift shop, hopefully depending on if I can find a good spot on that little sidewalk. There's a little, little sidewalk. And then there's, you know, parking lot. So we'll see what I can get. Oh my God, I can't, I can't believe I lost half. I had such a thought process. Oh. While we're here, let's just switch this into a little bit of thoughts that I've been going through. So my childhood through my 20s was all pretty much about me trying to survive. And in my 30s, it was me kind of trying to survive and pay for the sins of my past while also trying to work towards my future. And I will be 40 in November. And at this point in my life, I feel like it is me coming to accept who I am. I am my past, present, and future. And I do think that my future looks bright. My past was grim, but it made me who I am. And it wasn't all grim, let's be real. Other people have had it worse, but I don't look on it fondly. And my present self is what I'm currently recording. It is me presently trying to become better for my future self. Feeling sorrow and love for my past self. And this journey has been all encompassing and has had a lot of different paths, but it is the most open to life that I have ever been. Um, it is the most aware I've ever been of every little thing in this world. All the possibilities, all the heartache, Oh my God, this was just supposed to be a shopping vlog. You know, it could be just some simple shopping vlog, but uh, to me, this is passionate because it's me trying to become me and be happy with it. <laughs> All right, so that being said, hopefully I can be happy with some pair of pants out there because I am sick of wearing leggings and hopefully I can get some shots that I'm happy with. Let's do this thing. I got $20 in my pocket. Let's see what I can get.
Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. We're all in this. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last. To Hello, Ramona. I mistook you for a dream. The engine glows, and I guess you always seem to know. Hello, Ramona. I push back the serious feeling, the ends unknown, to get back the life I used to. So I wouldn't say that that was a success. I did see some cute things, but um, not in my size. And that's not social commentary on anything. I am shopping at a thrift store for one. So things that I did find cute in my size were stained. Again, not social commentary. And then also the things that I found cute in my size were like priced really wrong. They had a Shein dress, Shein dress for $8. And I'm pretty sure you get stuff from there for like, tops 12 so that doesn't seem correct i also saw some dollar tree hats that they sell at dollar tree for a dollar for three dollars there so they've got some some messed up pricing and the days of thrift storing are kind of over in my opinion because you can easily go online and find out how much something is worth whereas finding like a hidden gem was something that you would just kind of know a brand and know what it was worth and then oh my god i found it this is like it's closed, they're gonna keep it all around the same price. And I think it's like computerized that if they put it into their system as a certain brand, it's gonna mark up a price. So, <sighs> thrift story might be dead. I may just have to accept the fact that I'm gonna have to wear the clothes I have right now, which I have sufficient amount, until I get to my goal fat percentage, which would put me at a medium in women's sizing. <laughs> so take that as you will. I, I have enough clothes, I just am unhappy with them. But if you're not happy with your clothes, sometimes it's not the clothes that's the issue. And I know this very well. So I went in there with no storyline. I kind of have come up with my own storyline and it is gonna be kind of social commentary, but it's how I'm feeling today. So that's how it's gonna turn out. Art reflects a person's heart sometimes. I did have a ending in mind where I would be in my onesie and then do a cute little transition into the new outfit looking all good that's why I did my makeup today <laughs> but I have a different idea in mind so rather than share it I will surprise you guys show you the end result and say I will see you soon bye Yeah, these are 
other shoes I bought like three weeks ago, they did not have this issue when I first got them from Value Village. People just be giving away their broken stuff. Value Village must be like gluing them back together. I, I think I'm done thrifting for the time being.